What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one of my videos and we're gonna be reviewing this house that costs 100 million dollars it's located in malibu beach and according to this um architectural design channel it's actually james bond's house which it should be interesting all right so let's just jump right into the video <laughs> My name is Chris Cortazzo. Welcome to Malibu, California. I'm about to show you one of my favorite beach homes in all of Malibu and perhaps the world. This Thai-inspired oasis is owned by legendary actor Pierce Brosnan and his filmmaker wife, Keely Brosnan. It's on 117 feet of Malibu beach frontage. It's approximately 12 and a half thousand square feet, four bedrooms in the main house, plus an outdoor guest house okay so right off the bat you know it has four bedrooms in the main house so 100 million for only four bedrooms and then it, it also has a guest house which that is pretty interesting i've never seen a house that has uh, another house just for the guests so that's actually pretty cool but is it a hundred million dollars worth it? I don't know. Three kitchens, salt water pool, the most incredible screening room. Oh, There's a spa okay. that's indoor and outdoor access. So you're really enjoying this incredible weather that Malibu has to offer. All of this is on the market for a hundred million dollars. You're in for a major treat. hundred million dollars? Sheesh. The house is called the Orchid House. As you can see, it's filled with orchids, gardenias, plumerias. These doors are all hand carved from an inspiration from Thailand and you'll see the details and the bespokeness throughout the house. This epitomizes the Malibu lifestyle. We have one big open floor plan. We have double living room here, dining room over here. All right, so the interior design is actually not that bad. It looks more like, you know, it looks fancy. You know, you would want to have people over but for example, if you're just living by yourself, you know, it's uh, it could be kind of not really good because, you know, obviously for all this, uh, all these big amenities that the house offers, you would want, you know, to actually have people come over. We have Brazilian teak floors. As you can see, this is a French chinois vibe, which ties in the classiness of France with the casualness. Is that <laughs> what I think it is? What is this? <laughs> is that is that some bottoms? The Asia. Why don't we go outside and I can show you what's out there. This is such a luxury to have this much space before you hit the Pacific Ocean. As you can see here, we have two covered seating areas. We have a gas mm -hmm. fire pit right here. And this area is unique because it's all enclosed with glass. So if you have prevailing winds from the afternoon, it's ideal. Also, Keeley came up with heating underneath the limestone. So if you're out here in the evening, you can stay warm. But out here, we get A for quality of water. So if you're an ocean goer like myself, you're really going to enjoy the ocean. And if yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool to just wake up and see the ocean right in front of you. You know what? Like, I would pay $100 million just for that. Psych. To surf, <laughs> there's a great surf break up there as well. Here, looking back at the house. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Just casually flexing his Louis Vuitton belt right here. What about the watch? Is that a Rolex? What is that? <laughs> BHU. And really? also, do like, buy some bigger pants or something. You can see his, his crotch right there. Oh, shoot. The feeling of the Thai architecture that was done by Ross and Ralph <clears throat> Anderson. Keeley takes a lot of pride in the roof. It took her three years to get these tiles the correct green. It's absolutely beautiful and very, very well done. Pierce told Keeley, build your dream home. She definitely did. And the most important aspect of any home, as far as I'm concerned, is the kitchen. We have crystal quartz countertops, incredible tea cabinetry. Del I mean, mm, the design kind of looks old fashioned. So for like an $100 million Malibu beach house, uh, I would expect some more modern design, you know, maybe some more marble, maybe. Yeah, but not wood. I don't know. Wood just looks kind of old-fashioned like if I go to my grandma's house I expect there to be wood furniture there 
full range ovens. So when you're cooking, the whole flow kind of goes through like this. And over here in this corner, you can see that you have a breakfast nook, fireplace, and everything opens there's, up to the sh There's basically another living room inside this kitchen. Look, there's a sofa in here. Marine Who needs a sofa it's in, truly the, in their kitchen? Brace yourself. This is like no other. <laughs> Welcome to the most romantic bedroom in all of Malibu. An outstanding feature of this primary bedroom is the scissor truss ceilings. Adds to the romance and the luxuriousness of this incredible space. So what are you getting here? You're, you base your design of a bedroom off of romance? I mean, you could tell just by the way the, the bed is designed too, you know, with these drapes going around the sides right here and apparently all this romance. I mean, of course, the bedroom is kind of always pictured as, you know, the romance place, but to go off as that as your main reason, you know, of this bedroom is like, oh, it's, it's, it's romance. Look at these scissor ceilings, romantic. Look at this chandelier, romantic. It's like, okay, I, I want my bedroom to be more functional. Just not, not just to have the uh, aroma or scenery, of romance i'm not sure if i'm making myself clear but i mean it's a pretty decent bedroom it has some couches uh tv uh some chairs you can sit on kimmy um, was designing this yeah. primary bedroom she wanted two fireplaces and then there's also another two one fireplaces. on the other side of the room this is a what? great spot for peers to read his scripts let me take you to the balcony which perfectly frames the shimmering pacific this Deck expansiveness is incredible. You could look at the dolphins. Pretty soon the whales are gonna migrate as well. And they come literally right within the surf line. If you are a surfer, you have Victoria Point right up the road where Keely and Pierce's son goes every morning. There's no rocks in front. So it's perfect for boogie boarding and swimming. Okay, I mean, that's a good addition. If you really like the ocean, like to surf, like to just go out there and have fun, then hey, that's a pretty cool, uh, addition to the house. Welcome to Keeley's bathroom. Truly one of the most luxurious bathrooms I've ever seen. Look at this indoor outdoor flow, oversized claw bathtub, onyx inlaid in the teak floor. I mean, for the primary bedroom, I would expect an even bigger tub, not this small little thing right here. Uh, maybe I'm being too harsh on my critiques of this house, but for a hundred million dollars, you would expect a lot more. You have it on the sinks and also in the shower as well. This has to be truly the best view from any bathtub in the world. If you guys are liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It would truly help my channel out. But this is just a, a quick intermission from the ads that are playing right now. So this is. Come on, play. Closet all right, is the closet. so luxurious. Let's see the closet. You have all this natural light from all the skylights. You have around light. six different compartments for your gowns, teak floors. It's the size of some beach homes. <laughs> <laughs> This was originally designed for Keeley's office. The light is so beautiful in this space because it's north facing that has now become Pierce's artist studio. This one is in production. It's called Fish Hook. You can see the fish hook right here. His inspiration is Picasso. So as you can see, we have Picasso <laughs> here. You have um, an image of his stepson and stepdaughter. And this is Pierce's work of himself. It's called Selfish. It's really spectacular. Okay, Pierce's office. That's a cool This chair. whole wing in the house is Pierce's side. We're in the production office. Great natural light. You have the scissor truss ceilings here with skylights. It's almost like you're floating in a tree house. It's absolutely spectacular. That this chair. is where- I'm I want that chair. That's a relaxing chair. A lot of their work is decided what movies they're going to be doing. As you can see here, a crystal fireplace. Most people get small little crystals to get the great energy. This, if you lean against it, you're revived and pure again. Wow. In Pierce's closet, we have Aphromosa cabinetry and reading heat floors, which keeps everything a really comfortable temperature. Let me show you Pierce's bathroom. 
Okay, so Pierce's bathroom is not the primary bathroom. <clears throat> Pierce's bathroom is spectacular. You have green onyx on the countertops, also in the steam shower as well. You have the teak floors and Aframosa cabinetry. <laughs> Here's a secondary guest bedroom. As you can see, consistency is throughout the house. We have the teak floors, built-in cabinetry, and you can see some of Pierce's incredible artwork. Yeah. The nice thing is for the children, they don't have to go through the living space to get to each other's rooms. They can run across the courtyard. Notice how large this closet is. This would be someone's primary closet and a regular. Yeah, this guy sure loves his pillows. Just look at all these pillows to go through the living space right to get there to each with other's his room, across the courtyard. He has a closet to fill the closet more pillows. This how many people do you expect to sleep at this house? A regular house, but this is just in the guest room. Keely's youngest son is a surfer. Hey, so we got the more whole art thing right here, here like was this. she found this crystal quartz that looks like a wave breaking. It's a steam shower, so after a long day of surfing, you can warm up very quickly. So we're leaving the secondary bedroom, and as you can see, we have a floating staircase, which is so nice because it adds all this extra light in. At the top of this staircase, you can see incredible natural light. No million dollar houses could be complete without a bar inside of it. <laughs> so we're on the lowest level. The theater bar, which is also considered the wine bar, is beautiful. All the onyx is butterfly, so it's all opened and outlaid. And around the corner here, we have a wine room. Holds around 200 bottles of wine. I've been here before for screenings, and it is a blast. <laughs> When you go to the movies, you want to be transported into a different realm. Here you- I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If I had a house, a big house, I would love to have a movie room. Just maybe not as big as this, but a, a cool movie room dedicated just solely to looking at films and stuff. I just think it's very cool to have that environment. Look you know, at the size. Having the lights piece. dimmed and you're watching a film with your friends and family. The be walls cool. are all Ralph Lauren cool. silk material. Martin Lawrence Ballard, who is an amazing designer, helped Keeley pick that out. The theater sits 20 people. This is the place to be yeah. in Malibu on a Saturday night. Keeley and all our friends come over. We have dinner, movie night, and it's the greatest experience in the world. Ooh, okay, now yeah. we're going into my category. For my house, I really do want a home gym inside. <laughs> it appears to have a world-class gym, mm -hmm. all the best equipment, all mirrored. It's the ultimate place to work out. Lucky Pierce. Jeez, my dude. All the best Can equipment, you... all mirrored. It's the ultimate place to work Can you fix these dumbbell placements? Why is there only 125, 112.5? Oh look, it's right here on the other side. Man, you could have at least take you could have at least taken the time to fix the placement so they could look better. You know what? You know, you're showing off in a hundred million dollar house and you can't fix the dumbbells so that they could look properly. Come on. Oh, lucky Pierce. Okay, music room. This is oh, okay. the jam room, also known as the music room. Ooh, it's all I would love this too. That's pretty cool. Soundproof. One of their sons has a band called Raspberry Blonde. So they practice down here, create all this incredible music. This is one of Pierce's painting from GoldenEye and it's called Earplugs. He painted it on the set because he was being shot at all the time. But this is a great space if you want to be as loud as you want and have as much fun. And it's mm -hmm. also great if people have too much fun at a party, they can come and sleep over here as well. Okay, we have a spa room have too. This spa, which is such an unexpected surprise. All this natural light, staircase coming down from the beach. So when you're all sandy and tired, you can come right in here and be purified. You have a dual sauna, so you could have infrared and dry. You have a huge steam room, hot and cold plunge pools that could be filled within three minutes. So from here, we're gonna go up the stairs to the saltwater pool and to the beautiful guest house. <laughs> We got a pool the saltwater pool with a waterfall, and it almost looks like a mermaid's tail sparkling. Off the pool, this is the pool house, and what a pool house it is. You have a full kitchen, oversized fireplace, bar area over there, and above us, 
we have the guest house. So we're just about to go up to the guest house, but I just want to point out Keeley's passion for landscaping really comes through. Look at these plumerias. Look how happy they are. This is wow. an extraordinary really guest see house. How so happy it reminds me of the production office because it feels like you're in this amazing tree house. But you have a lot of romance. Again, you have another fireplace. You have the views of the Pacific Ocean and the pool and two private balconies. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on right. this tour of the Brazen Estate. It's one of a kind. It's only been on the market twice in its lifetime. And it took the Braz Only twice? Jeez. It's 10 years to accomplish this incredible Thai estate. This home is like a resort on a domestic scale. <clears throat> it's on one acre. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely like a resort. It has a freaking spa room gym has a movie room these are wine bars 117 feet of frontage 12 and a half thousand square feet four bedrooms plus a guest house three kitchens saltwater pool theater spa gym and it could be yours for a hundred million dollars for sure i'll take it sign me up all right <laughs> Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe. You know what? I'm gonna do more of these reaction videos. I'm also gonna do more face cams. So go ahead, stay tuned for more videos to come, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, guys.